Politics. It sounds like a scene out of a Hollywood movie. Hollywood, yeah, uh, Hollywood could be involved in this. And some experts are saying that the threat of electromagnetic pulse weapons is far from fiction. Doomsday scenarios have the high altitude bombs launching into the U.S. sky, crippling, uh, crippling our nation's electronics and sending our society back to a pre modern era almost instantly. How prepared are we to stop this threat? Jenna Baker at McNeil is a Homeland Security Policy Analyst with the Heritage Foundation, is quite alarmed by about this prospect. Joining us right now from Washington, Jenna, how would this work if someone was to try to take out our electric grids, our computers, and our technology? Well, basically, in an EMP scenario, if a nuclear weapon was detonated high in the Earth's atmosphere, you would have that energy interact with our Earth's magnetic fields, and it would produce a pulse. This pulse would be incredibly damaging to our electronic systems and our U.S. electric grid. And now when you talk about this pulse, it sounds very complicated. It sounds like something high-tech, something that maybe we'd have trouble with. Why would another nation less sophisticated be able to pull this off? Well, it is high-tech, but it's something that could be a, a very good source of warfare. If you think about the ability to actually take out the electronic systems of an entire nation, it's very appealing. And a lot of nations, including people who don't like us very much, are looking into the possibility of EMP warfare. Because they can't take us on with our nuclear arsenal or our military. This this might be one way. Uh, you say 28 nations have potentially this capability. Well, you know, 28 countries have ballistic missile capabilities, and if you can detonate a nuclear weapon high in the Earth's atmosphere, you can actually have this EMP event occur. And, you know, nations like Iran and Russia and China, it, experts demonstrate that they are really looking at this kind of technology. And what are we doing to stop it, to block it? Not nearly enough. You know, the EMP Commission has put out several reports that really talk about this problem, but Congress and the administration have relatively ignored it, and we've cut our defenses at the same time that I mean, our. Missile defense, for example. Absolutely. Well, you know, we, we cut our missile defense in our budget, and we're cutting other defenses at a time when our adversaries are looking at this. The United States should be preparing for it. Well, when we read this from you, we thought we had to bring this up to people's knowledge, so continue to work on this, bring it, uh, shed some light on it, so we don't lose our ability to use electricity and plug things into the wall. Absolutely. All right, Janet Baker McNeil from the Heritage Foundation, thanks. Thank you so much. All right, uh, coming up straight ahead.